You coming? Well. They're always barking and I don't even know if any, oh yeah. There's somebody with a budget truck, whatever that's all about. Um, what a busy day today. I have not done any vlogging today because I wanted to start um, doing my cooking videos. I had one other video that I did for my other YouTube channel. And so I've made four videos today. It's 2.28 as I came out here and I'm getting my gloves on. I got to get the wheelbarrow and I got to load up more wood in, in our little, well, they're garbage cans, but I hate calling them garbage cans because it's not garbage in there. My wood cans, I'll start calling them that. Um, and then the leaves have been blowing like crazy off of our plum tree and off of our crepe myrtles here. I mean, they've really lost a lot of leaves and look, all over all over are you ready to go in come on Ellie okay so I stocked the wood and just in time those short little videos like that they don't take long to save so I got to go back in now and edit my next video and that shouldn't take long so while that is saving um, I have my ash bucket to dump first and I got to get more kindling Chloe, you're laying there like a good girl. Yes, you are. Okay. What time is it, Adam? Five? Five fourteen. And almost dark outside. Oh my goodness. It's been a very, a very long day. And I think the reason why it's been such a long, long day is uh, the fact that for the last two nights, I've gotten up very early because the girlies have been getting me up early to take them outside. And um, I've had trouble going back to sleep. And I've kind of been staying awake and just, you know, dozing off just a little bit. I got my Merry Christmas shirt on. Can you see? Can you see? Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, so I'm just really, really tired. I am so tired right now. I feel like I am going to go to sleep. <laughs> That's pretty bad. But guess what? The bear's coming home today. Harry called me last night and said that he was coming home today. So I'm very excited about that. And, oh, I forgot to take this downstairs put it in the bathroom so I don't forget um so he should be on his way home pretty soon and then let's see survivors on tonight I will try to stay awake for survivor but then I'm going to go to sleep after that I'm coming up here and I'm going to just crash I think as soon as I lay my head down on the pillow, I will fall asleep because that's how tired I am. Um, so I did get quite a bit accomplished today, believe it or not. Uh, when I was updating this afternoon, I didn't tell you that the first thing I did very early this morning was I cleaned my bathrooms up here. And so that's all taken care of, so I don't have to do that tomorrow, because usually I try to do that either Wednesday or Thursday, usually on a Thursday. Um, tomorrow is laundry day again, and I'll have that to work on. Then I just have like light cleaning to do, vacuuming. I've got that sort of thing to do. And, oh, I was going to go blow my leaves. I showed you all the leaves that fell, but uh, when I went out, back out there to do that the wind started blowing again actually it wasn't when I was going to do that. I was I mean I was getting ready to do it but I still had to come back in I told you I was um, finishing that last video uh, and it was the molasses cookies which I've got that posted already anyway um, 
What was I going to say? So I went outside with my bucket that has all my ashes from my wood stove, and I was dumping that out in the garden, and on my way out there, the wind started picking up again. It had been blowing, obviously, all day, all yesterday. That's why all the leaves. But then it kind of died down a little bit, but then it picked back up. So anyway, it would have been pointless to go out there to do that. So I think tomorrow is a bit more of a calmer day, so I'm hoping tomorrow to get out there to do that. I think that's it. I'm so tired, I can't even think. So I'm going to get a nice hot bath, and I will see everybody tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, lovies. It is 628. I've been up for about an hour, and um, I've got my laundry going. I'm on my second load. And I just put my water in to tidy up some dishes and poured a second cup of coffee for myself. And I've got a busy day planned. Now, I'll tell you what I would like to do, but I don't know if I'll get all of it done, but it's my goal. So, and I'll tell you what I like to do because when I always say this is what I'm going to do, and sometimes it doesn't always work out that way, because that's life sometimes, right? That's hot. So what I would like to do today, I've got to work on my laundry, go read my Bible, go upstairs and get dressed, come downstairs, start dusting and tidying up down here, and clean my bathroom down here, because like I said yesterday, I cleaned the two bathrooms upstairs yesterday. Um, in addition to making four videos. That was a very long day yesterday. Um, and then I need to attempt to go outside as long as the wind is not blowing so I can get the leaf blower and blow my leaves away again. Then that should put me to like noonish, one o'clock in the afternoon. And Adam and I are going to um, bring up all the things that we need from down in the basement that go above our door for that winter scene and we're going to put that together and I have to do that today because he was off yesterday he's off today and he won't be off until next week I guess I need a light huh there so so yeah I have to have him help me with that today oh and I am sitting here by the fire and I was on Facebook <clears throat> answering messages and seeing what's new now I gotta go to YouTube and look I got two pretty boxers my friend Sarah from Japan posted a picture of her um, little dog Chaco he's so cute or she's so cute and she lays with her legs behind her um, Ellie does that and Lucy Ellie, Lucy. They both do it, but Ellie does it the most. And I don't know if you can see me turn on this light. But because Ellie, she's a short boxer, and because she's a little bit on the chubby side, um, and she's got real short legs. And so you can see her. She's got like little wrinkly rolls around her legs. So <clears throat> when she lays down on her stomach with her legs behind her she looks like a pig <laughs> uh, if I have my camera someday when she's doing that I'll take a picture of it because that's what Sarah said take a picture um, they usually do it upstairs on my bed at night when we're going to sleep and I don't have my camera but if I see her do it again sometimes she'll do it if she lays on that that couch over there but if she does, does it again I'll try to get my camera and take a picture so anyway I'm gonna turn this kitchen light back out and enjoy my wise men scene here and my Christmas tree and that's my Hallmark channel with their Christmas movies this is some Christmas movie that I've not seen and quite honestly <clears throat> it doesn't interest me so much so I'm gonna listen to my YouTube videos can you girlie sit down oh look at you right away Ellie that's a good girl Gonna sit? Who's gonna sit? You're gonna sit? Sit! Sit down! Sit down! Luz, sit! Chloe, sit! You gotta sit! 
Are you going to sit? No, you got to sit. You got to sit down. You got to sit down. Sit. Sometimes you tell them to sit and pew, they all go down at the same time. Then there's other times they're like, we don't want to sit, lady. Listen, we were just outside. We did our business. We want our treat. And I think that's what they're doing right now. You got to sit. Sit down. Who can sit? Sit down. Sit down. All right, Lucy, that's a good girl. All right, Chloe, what about you? You got to sit. You got to sit. I'm going to cut her a break because she has a bad knee, and it's hard for her to get down. Um, hopefully, now that she won't be out running around during the winter months, um, she can relax a little bit and sit. Um, her knee will start getting a little bit better because if not, she's going to have to have surgery on it. She's got like a torn ligament or something. Um, so, I got my mood music on. That needs to be turned down a little bit. Whoops. So, I wanted to show you a couple things. Um, I got to my first cruise. I was talking to you and my batteries died. So, these got to be charged. Whoopsie doodle. These got to be charged. I had to put new ones in. Get on there. There we go. And I got really hot because I was running around here. So, I had to take my, my little sweat hoodie jacket thing off. Um, I'm going to be going outside later, so I'm going to need it. But I wore a tank top today because Adam and I are going to be decorating the door. Like I told you, I'm going to be up and down stairs and ladders and all that, so I'll be getting hot. So I wanted to um, show you guys that I got my first Christmas card yesterday. Ta-da! And guess who it's by? Hallmark! And guess what? Inside my card, look, I got a coupon. Save ten dollars on forty dollars, or five on twenty-five. Are you going to work now? I'm going to get breakfast. You're going to go get breakfast. How nice! Yep. Enjoy yourself. Goodbye. Goodbye. So anyway, this is probably going to be crooked. Um, so anyhow, I got my Christmas card yesterday from Hallmark, and they made sure that they sent me another book. Not only did I get my coupon here. But I got a coupon there, 40% off an item in the book, which I have not opened the book yet because I want to surprise myself. But um, last year in the book, they had the carolers, which I collect, and so I used my 40% off coupon on one of those carolers. So I'm hoping when I open this up, I'm going to see something lovely like that. So anyway, I got coupons to use. The next time I get to the Hallmark store will be the end of November um, because I always go, it's in the same plaza where I get my hair done, which is right down the road. I could go today if I wanted to, but I wait. I make it a, a thing that whenever I go get my hair done, I just run over to the Hallmark store on the way home to get candles or, you know, see what's new or whatever. And um, oh, 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 oh. I wanted to show you something else. I was upstairs um, dusting the furniture in my room and all of that, and the bench at the end of the bed had something sticking out of it. So I went to, you know, put that back and organize it. And what did I find when I opened it? Ta da! C.S. Lewis, The Magician's Nephew. And if you're wondering what that book is, um, C.S. Lewis, when he wrote the whole Chronicles of Narnia, and um, some of the books, the series were being published, people were beginning to ask, well, how, how did Narnia be, come about? You know, they, they wanted um, some information, you know, behind the original story. So C.S. Lewis came up with a storyline, which is the magician's nephew. And quite honestly, out of all the books in that series, this is my favorite book. And it's funny because, like I said, it was the last book that he wrote in the series, but yet it's now the first book in the series. And what is the first uh, book is really now the second book um, since he came out with this. So anyway, since it's getting colder outside now, in the afternoons, like after all my cleaning's done, everything's done, um, I'm going to sit by my fire and I'm going to read this book again. 
because I do like it. And I haven't read this since Chicago. Josiah gave this to me when we were living in Chicago, and I read it like on my lunch breaks at work. But um, <laughs> let's see, we've been living here now for six years, so I've had this for like six or seven years. So I need to reread it and give it back to him. So anyway, now it's on to dusting. I got to clean my bathroom down here, and I got to sweep all these floors. And then when Adam gets up, um, I will vacuum. I just got done talking to my mom. And so while I was talking, I was able to walk around and dust. I cleaned my bathroom. I'm going to eat my lunch. I made some taco salad there. And um, I just need to sweep the floor as soon as I'm done eating and vacuum really quick. And then Adam and I will be ready to decorate. So all of this stuff and all of this all goes up there. And Adam's taken down. We have to staple our vines and then we re-staple our garland that goes up there. So Adam's having to get all that down first. And about a month ago I took down, no more than that. I took down our, we have pictures, we have up there big candle sticks and all that. I, I took all that down a long time ago and it's been empty up there except for the vine. So this is step one. We're getting ready to do step two. Okay, so here's progress so far. And while Adam was up there, Adam said to do something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time. but. It requires me to get the electrician because uh, I've always wanted to have lights up there. And my electrician, when he was here the last time, a few years ago, he was going to drill a hole. So, and then up here in the ceiling, he would drop the wiring through and he would connect it to that outlet that's right over there so that uh, we would already have plugs and all that up there, which I might do that in the spring. I might have them come so it's done. but. Adam said, why don't we just get lights anyway and bring the, we'll just get a white cord and bring the cord down here and loop it around and plug it in over there. So we're going to go to Lowe's. I have lights, but they have the green cords and green would show up on the snow. We got to go get white cords. So and I think I'm going to get a lighted swag to go up there too. And we're going to get stuff to figure out to do our cord that comes down this way so it looks nice and neat. So anyway, off to Lowe's we go. All I can say at 221, what a mess. Pretty soon I'm going to have to go get my dinner in the oven, had to defrost my meat. And um, I got a bit of a mess. We're back from Lowe's. We got uh, almost all of the top of the door done, but I'm not going to show you just now. I'm going to leave it as a nice surprise later um, after everything's all cleaned up and you know everything's looking nice again so anyway all my old fluff that I, I save it because I never know if I'm going to get to the store get new fluff and so I got all this that was full of fluff I just threw it out and I got to vacuum all that out but it's all over the floor Ooh, mess 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 all over there and I put my vines in here. This is ready to go downstairs and I have a little bit of fluff left over in that bag and I bought another bag. So after I get that vacuumed out, I'm going to keep that in there and I'm going to buy another couple more bags so that I just have them uh, year to year. And um, I didn't use all my toys this year that I keep in this box and these are some Elmo's. Tickle Me Elmo's when they first came out. They're still in the box. Does anybody have Tickle Me Elmo? So anyhow, um, these boxes will be ready to go downstairs. And I vacuum that out and get my bags of fluff in there. I didn't put this Mickey up because we have caroling Mickey and Minnie. See, this was the first Mickey we got. And then I found those caroling Mickeys. And every year, Harry still wants to put this Mickey up, but I keep telling him, you can't have two Mickey Mouses. 
Now, see, the thing with Donald Duck, Donald, he has the nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. See, if you had, like, an extra Donald Duck or something, that'd be one thing, because it could be one of the nephews. But I don't think Mickey and Minnie have any children, or at least I don't think they do, or any nieces or nephews or anything. So, I'm putting that Mickey away this year. I don't care what Harry says. <laughs> so, um carry these downstairs and my downstairs you should see how I organized it it is clean as a whistle I spent time doing that this morning but anyway we went to Lowe's um because I told you why and then we didn't have enough of what we needed so now Adam went back to Lowe's he went back so that I can clean up this this big old mess and get dinner in the oven so that's what I'm gonna do okay this is all different this year because we put lights on the garland. We have clear lights in the front snow and the back part of the snow. It's colored lights. It'll light up better once, you know, the sun's not coming through the window there. We bought the new tree and we bought the lantern. So I will go upstairs so you can see it that way. And then I'll do another shot at night. So... There we go. Oops, a little blurry. I don't know why that gets blurry. And then the chandelier gets in the way. You looking, Lou? So I will do another shot of the door <clears throat> when it gets dark out.